It's ideal because not only does it uh, travel the same routes, but not only are they aesthetically pleasing and interesting, but they go to places like Calendar Bay, which has been in the news recently uh, due to blue green algae, but it also goes out to the Manitou Islands, which, which are very interesting because they basically rise out of the center of the, of the lake, and then also out to the French River, which is kind of like where the water flows out to. So really we get a sample of all the really important constituent parts of, of the lake. Well, uh, we really uh, monitor some very simple things right now. Uh, dissolved oxygen, that's really important. Uh, basically, it's like the air we breathe, the concentration of oxygen. Uh, we also look at temperature. Temperature is a real indicator about the dynamics of the lake if uh, the temperatures change suddenly. Um, and and talk, tells us a lot about the stability of the lake over time. Uh, we also uh, look at pH, which isn't so important. Uh, within this context, but we also look at chlorophyll, which is uh, basically, you know, the primary, you know, the base, the food uh, of the food pyramid. Mm -hmm. and, and also, depending on which sensors we use, we use turbidity, which is the amount of, of uh, debris in the water, and, and blue green algae. Um, and that's basically the beauty of it is very simple data, but it's collected every 20 seconds. As long as the command is here, we're here. I mean, it's it's really up to them. We're so grateful for their uh, collaboration with us. Uh, yeah, this is a multi-year project. I mean, the sunk costs, thanks to uh, Nipissing, are there. We've got the sensor. We can use it. When this is part of a bigger idea we have uh, at Nipissing, it's to start building a baseline data, understand the way the lake changes over short-term and long-term scales. You know, you can even compare from today until two days ago. I mean, you can tell now that the weather's changing, right? And so there's small-scale variations, but we also see longer-term variations in the in the water level, um, and even longer-term variations in the amount of nutrients that are coming into the water that's going to affect dissolved oxygen and, and blue green algae and chlorophyll. So we want to start establishing a baseline to understand, to help kind of tie into other changes we might see.